Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we are going to learn about more in depth of getting help uh, from PowerShell help command. I hope you are in front of the computer and you are able to try this uh, along with me. Uh, in fact, uh, one of the most important aspects to learning PowerShell is don't memorize anything. I have already demonstrated how to discover the kinds of uh, command lines in the previous lecture. Uh, I hope you know you can give a try with that or you can try at least uh, starting from here that would uh, definitely help you to get more uh, discovery part uh, for running any kind of uh, relevant uh, tasks which are relevant to your job specific. And well, uh, well, uh, we'll be uh, doing throughout the entire course uh, so uh, discovery is what you wanted here uh, in this lecture uh, because uh, once we discover what we wanted and then uh, we don't because we don't want to memorize once we discover what we wanted we would uh, build up the required examples we will be building up the syntaxes all that can be expected within this lecture so as usual uh, the first command would be the get hyphen help and then whatever you want to for example I'm looking for services uh, maybe services uh, I can type as like this uh, with the uh, search so it's going to search for this value if anything is there as a wild character it's going to list me out so it's just finding out a lot of uh, services information and it's going to list me all the available commands now once I have the command uh, in the previous lecture what I've told is uh, you can just put the uh, command for example get service uh, example and then simply uh, give here uh, type that uh, specific command so that it's gonna uh, give you more uh, uh, specific information like get help and the service name name of that service will actually gives the uh, full help of that specific command but I think uh, this might not be uh, sufficient for me if I feel that you know what I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually uh, get more uh, details so hyphen detailed so if I just give as the tab it's gonna actually fulfill the command the expected command which is a detail so this is where actually you're gonna get more detailed information if you can see here uh, it's uh, some of the pages of information with a lot of uh, examples and other things uh, if, let me go back to the first uh, command which we tried here in this case uh, I need to go up so this is where uh, the command uh, which is actually showing as a full help so with the full help uh, I got a lot of uh, tons of information um, it says that how to use uh, all this the proper description and the syntax information uh, once I press the detailed information so along with that uh, you can see here some of the uh, information for example name name is as a string format it should be there as a syntax and for that it's actually giving us one of the example number one that means uh, get all the services on a computer to get that you need to simply type as the get hyphen services so let me try this command by opening another PowerShell uh, let me open up that PowerShell by uh, right-clicking uh, one more PowerShell console so that uh, I can you know execute uh, another uh, shell all these examples and show you uh, and uh, I would just like to keep my help as side by side and I, I can demonstrate all those help relevant so I just copied this uh, help uh, one of the example which is uh, demonstrating here and simply type that so it's gonna actually show me all the services which are available here on that machine so it looks good and uh, it's gave all the information which is expected uh, to get these services uh, as a status and the name and display name uh, let me go back here uh, to see another uh, examples maybe uh, here if you can see here if you're looking for a service with the name of WMI let's say here uh, you want uh, you, you wanted to know about the bit specific so how how would I do that you know maybe that's one of your requirement so here in the example 2 he is saying that if you can you know read the example uh, information this command retrieves the services uh, with uh, services name that are bigger with WMI similarly uh, I wanted a service name with the bits so what I'm gonna do is get service is hyphen and uh, whatever the uh, name you wanted so I'll just give here as that similar command and let's see uh, instead of uh, here maybe uh, I should uh, go for bits and see here what would happen actually 
so it's gonna actually list me one service and the status now it's good that you know I know um, I can use here the second example similarly for everything uh, here you have the uh, you 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 do have you know all the running examples for example you want to you know exclude this and you want to get as a vinrm but you wanted to exclude that specific vinrm specific services and uh, this is where it's going to actually funnel if you can look at um, here you are actually pulling out getting hyphen service uh, which is a normal command let's run that and see uh, which gives all the uh, running services information but you want to pipe out a uh, piping is uh, something which you can actually filter out for example you want to filter uh, out of this uh, table uh, think that this is a table or the output uh, in this complete status you want to funnel with the here it is uh, giving you an example as where the status is equally to running so you want to you know a filter with only running services to be listed so to do that to do that you need to use a funnel a funnel is like you know when you put this uh, pipe uh, it's going to funnel that entire output uh, to uh, another uh, state so let's give this copy paste we are going to uh, develop these kind of you know uh, queries in the upcoming lectures for now if I take this example five it's going to actually uh, show me only the relevant uh, specific one so I'm just uh, typing this and uh, hitting enter that should actually give me type here oh let's copy paste this exact command with the example here so now if I see here uh, I'm gonna get here only the relevant to the running status uh, of any of the services so you can see here everything is a running uh, which is coming up but not the stopped or services anything so if you want to filter further level you can you know, again uh, put one more in a filter to get uh, a specific information and if you're trying to run on a remote computer I simply do that uh, the same command can apply it and just give the computer name uh, as the uh, whatever the computer name you want to give so this is very useful so with the detailed information you are also getting the examples and you are also getting you know what are the values can be used so this is really useful for you if you're trying to learn now if I don't want the full details but I just want the examples is it possible yes very well it's possible all you have to do is just type the simple command again get hyphen help and get hyphen service with the example so you just have to at least be tried with the detail now it's just a matter of example so examples gives me uh, what are the examples we have seen so it gives the more examples in this case 11 examples which I can use uh, for example WinRM specific get services uh, which is so 11th example in this case and you can see here the example what it's going to do uh, with the pipe operator information and uh, also the output sample output for example you, you wanted to get a service with a name called WinRM and, and a computer called localhost and the server 0102 which are the remote altogether and uh, you wanted to format into a table format uh, for example so it's going to actually give you the uh, complete information for example uh, what I can do is I can type this uh, so if I have the uh, local host is nothing but the local machine and the server 1 and the server 2 in this case if I don't have the server 1 and server 2 it's not going to display the information but uh, uh, for whatever the machines are available and that machines it's going to list me so it says that hey this is the information which is available uh, for the WinRM specific service status because we wanted to look for this service uh, with the no status of that specific service so the conclusion is uh, here the examples are very important as well as the full details also are useful for you if you are trying to get more more and more uh, tons of information uh, which is specific to any of the command specific uh, help so as I said you no need to uh, memorize any any of the commands all you have to do is play with the help and discover what kind of you know, commands you wanted to uh, work on it and then go for the examples and try with uh, those examples and these examples are the market leaders of the Microsoft uh, product team who has already developed these examples which are mostly uh, mostly the case uh, where we also need this kind of information 90% all these uh, examples are applicable in our day-to-day -day tasks that's how these examples are written
so far we tried with the detail but now let's try another command uh, maybe uh, let me click here uh, there's another command called full uh, which gives you uh, very similar to the detail but uh, this gives the uh, full information of the detailed uh, more than the detailed information you would be getting when you go for the full uh, because um, this this will be very useful along with the examples you also get the examples that's true uh, but it also gives you some kind of you know uh, information like uh, for the scripting part uh, or if you're trying to filter out some uh, values these are the information might be uh, required for you for example whether the required positions and all these uh, values which we are going to talk about in the upcoming lectures but these are the uh, very useful information when you are you know looking for the uh, full uh, for example here um, here the required services uh, or the whether it is required or false or name what is the position all that values are available let's say you know uh, to explain more for example you are uh, framing some kind of you know value for example computer name a computer name here uh, somewhere here it would be there like the display name or computer name here so this is uh, this value should be a string not the uh, maybe another value it's just a string value it will be accepted and uh, whether is it required this computer uh, value it's a false so if you don't give the computer name value also it gives you the output but the position is always named and the default value is none and similarly if you're trying to dependent uh, services information as it required or a uh, position all that information uh, would be available for example a hyphen display the uh, required is the true or uh, is the position all these values will be no um, gives you the more uh, detailed information uh, when you go for uh, the specific command with the full option another command I wanted to share with you uh, maybe you know uh, if you can you know noticed earlier I tried to I tried to uh, open twice the windows uh, and on the same computer uh, and somewhere I'm actually looking at these examples and executing these examples on another PowerShell window instead of you do all these uh, you can actually run a command called get hyphen help and whatever the service or uh, whatever the uh, verb noun you wanted to give it try or command let give as this and uh, type as a show window uh, which gives you another it, it actually opens another window uh, with the full of examples and other things so this is where you get the full information like uh, you can you know a, you can keep this as a side and you can play with your examples because this gives you full information either way uh, so you can you know check out uh, what kind of you know examples you want to give for example you want to uh, find a get a service with the starting with a yes and sorting object with the status with a descending order for example this is one of the examples you want to give it a try you can give it a try so that you have the help here and you are actually executing in your powershell uh, window if you take another example for example you want to find uh, some of the value out of your help on finding a value within your help on a uh, this powershell uh, window would be difficult but you know you can find out here for example if you want to find something called name specific so it, it will show me where all the name is available you can see here computer name or I'm looking for the computer name or maybe a display name all that values that values information I can easily find out so it's so easy for me uh, if I have this kind of you know window so the show window is very useful uh, uh, and uh, I hope you know you will be you know, you trying out all these commands. If not, give it a try because uh, if until unless you don't dart your hands, uh, you, you don't learn. And uh, this is scripting. It's not the uh, you know step by step uh, how you click on a Windows for uh, some kind of you know operating system installation or some kind of you know, software installation. It's not the case. Um, this is all about the scripting. You must have to give it a try. Otherwise, you can't learn. And then you know you feel that. Uh, it's just you know I know it but you know uh, when you when you type actually those commands it, it may not uh, come back to you for the recall so you need to you know uh, have some kind of you know, practice to get all these commands and if you're trying to uh, get the uh, help uh, for example I want to get hyphen help uh, 
on maybe a legacy machines or the older version of PowerShell when I say older version maybe version 2 uh, I don't get the uh, help direct help so because it's not updated and I need to get the uh, actual help from the online that's the uh, just a web base so I need to type a command called hyphen online so it's gonna actually point to the uh, one of my default browser and then uh, takes to the Microsoft online website uh, where I can have the PowerShell uh, specific to that command line helpline or uh, the help details will be you know, showing you. So this is the case where uh, you have the older version with the V2 and the V2 above which is the 3 version 3 and was yes it's a built in and you can uh, try all these commands which I have already explained to you. So you can check out here the online help and then this is the uh, helpful help and uh, you can give it a try with the helpful by looking into this documentation page from the Microsoft website and then give it a try. Uh, that's how it's going to work uh, when you try with the online options. If the version 3 and uh, above you need to know update simply uh, update hyphen help and uh, that's a command uh, which you can use uh, to update and if you give the force it's going to update uh, automatically uh, by giving the force command. Uh, so that it's gonna uh, forcefully update uh, either way it's actually uh, your help is already updated also it's gonna update it so that if any latest changes uh, has been done within the Microsoft documentation that will be uh, coming back to your help system so uh, this is all about the help uh, deep drive uh, I hope this is very useful for you thank you for watching this uh, don't remember to practice uh, all these uh, help a specific because this is very critical for you thank you